welcome back to my channel happy 4th of july i am hoping to god that i have time to upload this today because if i don't it'll be a total fail i mean like when are you gonna see this makeup tutorial if it's not today wow let the truck not work today hi and let me just tell you that in the video i didn't show you but i actually created these stars right here also you uh, i'll zoom you in so these are the stars are created well basically what i did <laughs> the neighbors ate you can anybody stop you just ate you just like that there's so much noise going on right now, I can't even talk. It's of July, just fireworks. Yeah, that's why I'm doing it right now. I'll talk over the noise. Can you hear me? <laughs> um, I did these stars right here, and I didn't really show you in the video how I did it, because it just came to my mind after I shut down the camera and I couldn't stop doing it. That makes any sense? yes neighbor why don't you show us your car power so basically what i did for these stars was just take one of these stickers that they sell like at walgreens or whatnot i only had two red stars left oh actually i have another one left crazy anyways so i put them on here and then i just passed blue eyeshadow on top and that's how i did it and i super love it it feels like i have a tattoo on but it's not really a tattoo you know i'm a slime so yeah um before any more noise happens i'm sorry i can't control the outer world or my house because there's a thousand people living here with us so before it gets out of hand let's just go to the video and see how i achieve this look all right, the first tip is to take this red color by the BH Cosmetics palette, Take Me to Brazil. I love this palette. You need it in your life. It has the best colors ever. Here, I'm taking it on a clean blending brush and just blending it out into my crease. As you can see right here, I did apply this color twice because I wanted it to be really red and perfect. And it's just kind of like a transition color, kind of, you know what I'm saying? So apply that first and blend, blend, blend because you don't want to look like you just got hit and you got a red eye or anything like that you just want to blend that eye blend keep blending blend i said blend keep blending <laughs> kenya is totally laughing at me she is right here with me so yeah just blend and then i'm gonna be taking this red color which is kind of a darker color from the morphe palette on the camera it looks kind of orange and in person it is not i promise this color is um from the 350 matte palette morphe it's kind of like a red darker tone red did i just say that i just double said that but as you can see, I'm just using it to like make the crease a little bit darker and more defined. And then I'm also blending it out just so it doesn't look like too defined. Like I still want it to look a little blended, you know. Come on, guys, you know. So that's what I'm doing. I am running out of breath as I am talking. I really want to upload this video today. So next I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I just applied it all over my lid. I do not recommend this unless you kind of know, have an idea how to do a cut crease. I already kind of have an idea. So I apply it first and then I just use my brush to kind of shape it out. Give it kind of the shape that I want. So here I really do show you. I try to show you as much as I can as you can see because sometimes like i forget that i'm filming and kind of go out of frame but um right here i'm just using a very small flat brush a lot of people use a kind of a bigger flat brush but i really recommend guys that you guys get a smaller it has more control and i don't know i just love using a smaller brush as you can see i did kind of like a wing eyeliner effect at the bottom but like really small this look is already dramatic i don't want it to look so extra okay i know that sounds weird but anyways as you can see i set it with a powder and that was the l'oreal true match powder now i'm just taking eyelash glue and this is um this is just regular eyelash glue that i have with me i think it's a house of lashes glue if i'm honest and then i'm taking the nyx red 
um, glitter, as you can see. And this glitter is not particularly too red. It kind of has more like a pink tone. But it looks really super nice. I loved it. I had never tried it. And I love, love how it came out. So as you can see, I'm doing it in sections. I am applying the glue, then applying the glitter, then applying the glue, then applying the glitter. It is a process, but it is doable. If you try to do the whole eye, then I don't know. I don't know girls here very crucial this moment you can skip it I highly advise you to skip it if you don't know how to do this I think I effed up my eyeliner it's not easy putting white eyeliner on there you know what I'm saying here I use the eyelashes by Allure Allure I have no idea but I will be putting the information down below so don't worry now I'm taking the blue shadow from the BH Cosmetics palette and then taking the other blue shadow and applying on the lower lash line. It just completes the look. Putting on a little bit of mascara. You know what I'm saying? And then to give it that extra pop, I just took this white shimmery eyeshadow. All right, guys. So that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did and you guys see this video, please subscribe. Duh. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.